Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss the top 10 REST API interview questions that every Java backend developer must know. These questions are extremely important for Spring Boot, microservices and API development interviews. Let's start. What is a REST API? REST stands for Representational State Transfer. It is an architectural style used to design scalable, stateless and flexible web services. A REST API exposes resources through URLs. Each resource is identified by a URI. REST uses standard HTTP methods like GET, POST, PUT, DELETE and PATCH. A simple example, when you call GET slash PRODUCTS, you are asking the server to give you a list of products. REST API responds with JSON because it is lightweight and easy to parse. Question 2. What are the main principles of REST? REST is built on six design principles. You don't have to memorize them, but you must understand them. First, statelessness. The server does not store client state. Every request must contain all required information. Second, client server separation. The client focuses on the UI and the server focuses on data processing. Third, uniform interface. API must be consistent so clients can consume them easily. Fourth, layered system. Request may pass through multiple layers like security, caching or load balancers. Fifth, cacheability. Responses should define whether they can be cached to improve performance. Sixth, code on demand, which is optional. It allows servers to send executable code to clients rarely used in typical applications. Question 3. What is the difference between REST and SOAP? REST is lightweight, fast and flexible. It uses JSON and simple HTTP methods. SOAP is heavier, strict and protocol based. It uses XML, formal contracts and has more overhead. REST is used for modern web and mobile applications. SOAP is used in banking and enterprise systems where security and asset guarantees are critical. If an interviewer asks this question, they want to know whether you understand where REST is suitable and where SOAP is still used today. Question 4. What are HTTP methods in REST and when do we use them? This question is guaranteed in every interview. GET is used to retrieve data. POST is used to create new data. PUT is used to update an entire resource. Patch is used to update part of a resource. Delete removes a resource. For example, calling post slash users creates a new user. Calling get slash users slash 5 retrieves the user with ID 5. Understanding this correctly is crucial for API design. Question 5. What are HTTP status codes and why are they important? Status codes tell clients whether a request succeeded or failed. 200 OK means the request was successful. 201 created means a new resource has been created. 400 bad request means the client sent invalid data. 401 unauthorized means authentication is required. 404 not found means the resource does not exist. 500 internal server error means something failed on the server side. Interviewers want to know whether you return correct status codes instead of always returning 200. Question 6. What is statelessness in REST? Statelessness means the server does not store client session data. Each request must contain all the information needed to process it. For example, the server does not remember who the user is between requests. So the client must send the authentication token with every request. Statelessness makes REST API scalable because any server can process any request. Question 7. What is HATEVAS and why is it used? HATEVAS stands for Hypermedia as the engine of application state. It means that a REST response should include links that help the client navigate through the API. For example, if the server returns a user, it may also return links to update the user or delete the user. HATEOAS makes API self-discoverable 
and reduces the need for hard-coded URLs on the client. Question 8. What is pagination and why do API use it? Large datasets can't be returned in a single response because it affects performance. Pagination divides data into pages like page number 1, page number 2 and so on. A request like get slash products question mark page equals 2 and size equals 50 returns 50 records from page number 2. Pagination improves speed, reduces memory load and prevents API timeouts. Question 9. What is authentication versus authorization in REST? Authentication verifies who the user is. Authorization verifies what the user can access. For example, a token may authenticate a user as Ramesh. But authorization decides whether Ramesh can access admin level resources. Most REST API use JWT tokens, OAuth2 API keys or basic auth. Understanding this difference is essential for microservices security. Question 10. What is idempotency and which HTTP methods are idempotent? A request is idempotent when sending the same request multiple times produces the same effect. Get is idempotent because retrieving data does not change it. Put is idempotent because updating the same record with the same data will always produce the same result. Delete is also idempotent because deleting the same resource repeatedly still results in resource deleted. Post is not idempotent because calling post multiple times creates multiple new resources. Idempotency is extremely important in payment systems, distributed systems and retry mechanisms. Let's summarize everything in a clean interview ready style. REST API are resource based services that use stateless communication over HTTP. They rely on clear principles like client server separation, uniform interface and caching. REST uses HTTP methods like get, post, put, patch and delete to manipulate resources. Status codes explain the result and statelessness makes API scalable. Pagination handles large datasets. Authentication identifies users and authorization manages access. Idempotency ensures that repeated requests produce consistent results. If you understand these 10 questions deeply, you can confidently answer almost every REST API question in a backend interview. Do check out my Udemy courses to learn how to build and secure REST API using Java, Spring Boot, Spring Security, JWT and MySQL database. You will learn building real-time REST API with industry standard best practices.